All right, Lambert is here to demonstrate the uh, weighted pull-up for the Wad de Mall. Um, kind of a special honor here to have Lambert doing this because I think he actually has the the weighted pull-up record in the gym, don't you? Yeah, he does. He does. I mean, it, okay. No, no, Josh got it 111. Okay, well, well, Josh Lambert can kick your ass. <laughs> So uh, anyway, so I just now gave it to Lambert because I know he can beat you. Um, so anyway, real quick, I want to talk about the uh, the different ways to weight the pull up. You notice Lambert has what we like to call the uh, the, the the bull set up here, and um, that would be with the uh, with the uh, band there with a kettlebell. So it's the bull set up weighted pull up. I'm gonna go ahead and let him do that first. You see that? See how easy that is? Explode all the way up, full extension all the way down. You can go hands over or under. Remember as well, um, the wider that you have your grip, although it makes it a little more difficult, also the less you have area you have to travel. Uh, so kind of kind of play around with different arm positions different um, grip positions, all of the above. Now, Matt could have also used a Bulgarian bag put behind his legs. He could have used a dumbbell squinched between his legs. He could have slipped his foot in the little deal there like that. Um, there's a couple of weighted vests here. Be creative, but go ahead and weight your pull-ups, but also make sure that you don't weight it enough to the point where you can't get at least three. Anything you got to add, Matt? No swinging. It's going to start hurting if you Def swinging with the weight. Definitely don't be swinging. Don't be swinging. We still haven't talked about some of the things. We talked about kettle swings, kettlebell swings going overhead. We're also next week going to address some, um, some things about pull-ups and some of our concerns and fears and then some of the ways we're going to take care of that. And that's by being able to do a specified amount of pull-ups before you're actually able to work or, or do kipping pull-ups, which is the wise thing to do and the safe thing to do. And uh, we're, we want to work from an injury prevention standpoint outward here and your safety and health is the most important.